uh, the vocals. That's how you did the beat. Use my template, whatever it is. How do you send that to someone to mix now? Don't save. Let me go to here. This is exactly what I sent Alex. No different. No variation. I'll show you exactly what how I labeled everything, what I did. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. Hold on. This is dry. Okay, yeah. This is how I sent it. So you'll notice all my sends are gone. So under all these things where I had all the reverb, all the delays, everything I did, gone. My vocal template came from Alex. So he knows what I'm doing with my doubler. He knows what I'm doing with my short reverbs and my short delays and all that shit. That stuff I can leave to most engineers I work with. I can give them this dry vocal, which look has nothing on it. Some cielo till it's set in the has nothing on it. I can give them this completely dry vocal. Look at no vocal chain. My whole Tume chain with all my shit in it, gone. All that's in here is completely dry vocals. That's it. There's nothing else in here. Like, they have nothing on them. There's no EQ. They're completely dry. And it says main group, main one and two. Stacks group, stack one and two. Ad lib group, ad lib one through five. And all my panning stays. All the stuff I did with my panning, anything you did with auto tune can stay. Anything you did with like a filter that you really, if you did like a uh, certain, let's say like a phone filter or something like that, distortion, this and that. You can always leave stylistic things like that. But for the most part, no vocal chain, no EQ shit at all, really. Like I take everything off. That's the level of trust I have with Alex, but I have that same level of trust with Jeff Ellis. I have that same level of trust with like Nathan Burgess who did Unlocked. Same level of trust with Ali. I don't have to give these guys this thing with my, my shitty vocal chain on it. The point of my vocal chain was to make it sound good in the studio that day, make it sound good for the artist, make it sound good for the demo. Now let the master work, take all your bullshit off it, label it really easy. And then whenever I sent this, I delete the main group stem, I delete the stacks group stem, and I delete the ad lib group stem. So anything that says GRP next to it, delete. And so that all, all that's in the whole folder is beat, main one, main two, stack one, stack two, ad lib one through five, tag. That's the entire folder. So whenever Alex is like, okay, I'm gonna mix a Kenny beat vocal. Main one, main two, ad lib one, ad lib two, stack one through five whatever the fuck it is it's seven stems you know what i mean it's it's not like like i did something where it looks like this and every time i recorded it you know what i mean it's like let's say uh you know what i'm trying to say watch like this is here and then this one's here and then that one, you know what I mean? Like, and they're just so many different tracks with all the, the same shit. No, I'm, I break it all way down. So then everything is on every other track and I use all the space that I need and no more than that. There's no like three empty tracks that are in my stems that say audio. You know what I mean? There's no fucking anything mislabeled or anything that says like, like tracking 49 or whatever Ableton automatically names it. It's easy. They know that these stacks, stacks or harmonies or backgrounds always mean, okay, these are lesser than the mains. Main always means this is the top vocal you need to focus on. And then ad lib or whatever you want to call them, um, backgrounds, you know what I mean? In and outs, whatever the fuck people call them. This lets them know, okay, these are the things that can fill in all the space between my backgrounds and my main. Super, super simple organization. Super sim simple names. None of these have the song title in them. None of these say anything crazy. They don't say the artist's name. Main one, main two, background one, background two, ad libs, tag, beat. Use beat for reference for beat cuts. Bada bing, bada boom. Super easy. So now, when you send somebody something, it's under 10 stems. It's like so much more like... It's so much more inviting to sit down with 10 stems and be able to go crazy and like dial in the EQ and do all this different shit with, rather than when someone sends you 50 stems because your shit just wasn't organized and it wasn't labeled right and then they don't know what's an ad lib, what's a background, what, what vocal am I supposed to put in the front? They might be at this part and they think, okay, 
This one's the main vocal. Smash it and grab. And they're gonna make that the main vocal instead of smash it, grab. Just because you didn't label it right. And then you're gonna hear the mix for your song and be like, that's not how it sounded in my fucking demo. You gotta be like having a real discussion with someone about how you do your thing so that they can understand how to replicate that because everybody's different and just throwing somebody stems and hoping for the best, especially if they're not organized, especially if they're not labeled, it's a wrap for you. Okay, I'm done. Let me see if Eris, let's see if Eris sent me the fucking opus. All right, don't save. Eris, did you send me that?